Welcome everyone to another episode here, Joel's Podiatry. I guess sort of unfortunately saved the best for last. Um, very young patient this morning at the gym. Did some type of a movement where she actually inverted her foot and fractured her fifth metatarsal. Good news. No surgery. It is non-displaced. Bad news. It's a fracture. So you guys have seen me do it before. We're going to go ahead and, and inject a little PRP into the fracture site using our C-arm fluor fluoroscopy machine. We have the great fortune of having this machine here for a lot of reasons such as this one, that we're able to uh, to use the these live images to deliver the PRP exactly where we want it to go. Um, we spoke about, we will follow, by the way, all the guidelines and protocols in respect to the fracture itself. After the procedure today, the patient will be immobilized. Uh, we'll start with the cam walker. We'll provide edema control, the swelling for a couple more days in the, in the ugly boot, the cam walker, and eventually we'll put the patient in a cast. I like the cast because it's aggressive. And for the first, I would say three weeks, I do it a lot. I put the patient in the cast just to try to gain some uh, momentum, some healing momentum. And then after that, I can, you know, we can remove the cast and put the patient back into the cam walker, the ugly boot. Patient will remain strict non-weight bearing status. So uh, during the time, everyone's different, you know, six, eight, up to 12 weeks to heal. And during the course of the next six months to a year, the fracture will continue to remodel and, uh, and continue to heal. So uh, I want you to come around. Now it's not about me, it's about what we're going to be doing here so i want everyone to take a look at the you know the the fifth metatarsal. so this is only one view if i move the foot around you guys are going to be able to see uh, bigger gaps throughout um the foot is already on the the foot the foot over here thank you uh the foot is already on the mini c arm and now I will, let's keep our eye there first. So I'm gonna go ahead and go live so everyone can see what I mean by this machine, right? So look at look at the needle, right? And I'm gonna move it slowly, right? So it's a live image. So we're able to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to inject all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this with PRP. We're gonna marinate that, okay? So come behind me, Wesley. And you keep, that's exactly it. We're gonna head it over here, okay? <laughs> and the patient is numb, and like always, they may feel a little discomfort. And I, I have already told the patient that if she feels any discomfort, okay, you'll, you'll by the way, uh, patient, you will feel this, right? Do you feel any discomfort? No. I'm sorry? No. No, okay, good. So right now, we're going to start infiltrating. You may feel a little discomfort here and there. Let me know, please. Yeah, I feel that. Is it tolerable? Yeah. Please tell me if it's not. Um, okay. I'm gonna read. Okay, what? Yeah, that hurts more. Okay, than... I'm gonna stop here a second. How about now? It hurts, but it's not something that I Okay, let me know if you want me to stop, please, okay? Okay. 
Absolutely we can. Push it right in it. Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is Here we go. Sorry. Let me let me know when it kind of goes away a little bit. So for you know, for everyone uh, wondering, remember I've always said more volume is not necessarily better, right? more is not necessarily better it's about delivering the PRP right where it needs to go okay, okay. looks the image looks funny because that's my hand if anyone is wondering here we go how you doing okay I'm sorry Please take a break. Okay. <laughs> so the patient said, please take a break, and that's totally, completely normal. We're almost done here. Okay. Okay, we Want to make sure we get the whole everything. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Okay, so we're, I know I thought he was like. So we're all done, okay? <clears throat> the fracture is a spiral oblique fracture from here, and it actually goes around the other side. Two two parts of the fracture. We just can't appreciate it here, but. If I turn the foot a different way, everyone's gonna be able to see the other side, okay? So a lot of people ask me, the patient asked me, well, Dr. Wagner, um, which, I, which I think is one of the most important questions, is how much faster is, it, is the fracture going to heal with the PRP? And I think that, you know, what, did I, what do I say to that? We're all different, right? What may work for her may not work for me, and what work may work for Wesley, may not work for me either. So it belongs to the patient. We're delivering this bolus, right? This unbelievable amount, like a waterfall of all these wonderful cells, uh, growth factors and proteins into the fracture site. Um, my job, exactly what I told the patient, my job, I don't care what it is, the patient came to see us to get better. So I will use any toolbox, any tool in the toolbox to get the patient better. And if we can provide the patient an alternative as such, then why not? Rule number one, do no harm, right? We've done hundreds of these um, fluoroscopic guided PRP injections and we've had excellent results are there are they excellent results because uh, of the immobilization and the cast in this or are they excellent because of the PRP plus everything else that's a great question and obviously there are no studies that show you know a B C and D 
But again, my job is to make sure that I can get this patient, who's young, who's very active, back into daily life activities. So like always, thank you for watching.